Hi everyone, I'm really excited that I have just downloaded ProPresenter 6. This is the beta. I've been curious when this was going to come out because as you know, as I've mentioned in the past, I don't actually work for Renewed Vision. Don't talk to them directly very often. So I'm just a church tech guy just like yourself and I love the product, but that doesn't necessarily help me. Um, okay. So, uh, <laughs> uh, looks like Brad has uh, just responded to my tweet about it. So, this is the very first day. You'll notice the 25 up here. This is March 25th, 2015 that I'm recording this. And as you can tell from the screen, uh, this is my initial impressions. I haven't done anything else with this. Uh, in fact, you're seeing me as I open it up. So I have registered for the beta. This is the full beta version that I could use in my church if I wanted to. So let's see here. First question it asks is if I want to uh, import my settings from ProPresenter 5, and I do. So I'm going to uh, Actually, I'm not going to import that library because I didn't like it. Uh, that was just a test one. So I'm going to click import here. And we'll watch it import all these. Okay, so this gets me to a startup screen. Um, I can download the install uh, the user manual, which I have. I just haven't gotten a chance to read through it yet. The sample library, I can uh, download and install that, and I can import that. Here are video tutorials on ProPresenter 6, ProPresenter Cloud, uh, by the way, the pop-up notification that you saw here, let me actually, while I'm at it, I'm going to mute these notifications um, so that they don't disturb us again. But that was uh, Brad here. Here he is telling me that there are 40 uh, videos that he's recorded about ProPresenter 6. So. I'm behind because he's working with them and I'm just a church tech guy that loves ProPresenter. So I'm a little behind where he is, um, but let's get started on looking at this. So this is the overview screen with all these great things. I can click show on startup uh, and have that show up every time I start um, if I need to get my unlock. Code, I can just enter my email address here and click retrieve, but I'm going to um, unclick this because I'm probably not going to need that, and I'm going to show this. Oh, wow, so it's already got the sample media that Brad shows in the overview. This is a pretty cool feature. You'll notice that these are much more dynamic than regular just static backgrounds. And if we right click and go to edit slide, we'll see exactly how that's done. So actually, let me click clear all over here. And perhaps I've encountered one of the uh, early bugs. So here, let's right click, edit slide. There we go. So that is showing up, and we'll see that if we go here, each of these elements is, in fact, a different thing that can show up in order. So this shows up, and then this shows up, and then this shows up. Now, let's see here. I can draw a shape on a slide. I can add that box, of course. I'm going to make that go away. 
Oops, made the wrong thing go away. So, oops. Hmm. So that's interesting. I'm having a hard time getting off of that. Um, I can add video. This is actually going to be really good for my trick on creating. Um, let's see if I can't find this element that I just added in and make that go away. shape element. Okay, there that is. There we go. That's much better. So for my trick with using um, ProPresenter as digital signage, something like this would work really well. Again, this is my initial um, look at it. If we bring this up, I believe that just like in Photoshop, mm, where are those guides in Brad's, Brad Zimmerman? His preview video, it showed uh, bringing guides over. Ah, there we go. So I can bring a guide down here. Let's say that I wanted to tweak this so that whichever corner was up higher was in the exact same place on all of them. I could do that and then I can make that guy go away once I was done or what have you. So that's a cool new feature. Let's get out of that. Another feature that he talked about was the clocks. Okay, that's the go to next timer. So let's go into view. Actually, let's go into Telestrator mode first. Because I can, from this mode, I can do things like draw or put a highlight. Let me clear all that. I can do the laser pointer. And I think that's just a circle. Yep, that's a circle. So that's a pretty cool feature as well, and that I can do that for my song as well. Let me get out of Telestrator so I can transition into my song. So go down to that's a transition done video image transition. Okay, where is my video image been? Huh. Ah, video image. There we go. So, let me just add the geo pattern here. Okay, now let's say that this was slide notes. Actually, let's go to message notes, shall we? Uh, and you'll remember in the last version of ProPresenter, ProPresenter 5, it added this building ability here. Um, again, this is stuff that we've done before, but I could go into Telestrator mode, view, Telestrator, Looks like it's control T and let's bring that in. 
Let's go to the crayon box. Let's say I wanted it to be red and I could do Y Worship Software. Pro Presenter Overview tips and tricks and those are all part of my mini course that I just released apparently a little late so I can do that now um, if I turn off the telestrator that shows there and then it's persistent so what I'll need to do is make sure here I'm going to try the keyboard shortcut that I clear that out for each thing. So yeah, I want to handle it over here. So I want you to comment on this video and then I could draw a circle around comment and click stop. So that's, I'm, you can't see it, but I'm just turned on the output and let's see how Telestrator looks on that. Comment. Okay, that works. Or I can, that's the laser. This is the highlight. So I can highlight that. Apparently, something else that's not quite working with the moving background. Um, can I draw a circle? Yes, I can. But my, I'm used to Photoshop where I would start in the corner and drag to make it as big. You probably need to start, yeah, it's from the center. So you start from the center of what you want to draw the circle around and go like that. Okay, good to know. Circle size is probably the width of the line. Let's test that out. Yes, it looks like it is. So so that's as wide as it goes and on the other end of the spectrum let's change the color on that to red just so that we have that as a contrasting element. You'll see it's just about a pixel and I'm looking at that on my actual main display that I have here in my office and that is certainly legible at 720p which is what I'm sending it out at. So and that's pretty cool. One of the things that I hoped they would add was social uh, in the social stuff so let's see Yeah, so I've got Twitter as I did before, and I've got Instagram. Now I would need to log into Instagram, and I'm not prepared to do that right now. So I think I've got a secure password that I can't remember. So that's good. Uh, let's see if they change the Bible feature at all. Uh, let's go. Let's install. King James. I had a spirited discussion on King James on Facebook earlier this week. So let's do that. Uh, clear all right now. And that does take the Telestrator away as well. So that's good. Okay, that does pop that out. That's good. Okay, that's processing. Slide options. Do that. Okay. Now, I'm curious because I do have. So these are my old slides here. Let me delete that because I think that it's and I'll set this one to loops to first. 
Go to the next timer, leave that at eight. Okay, so the go to next timer now should be working fine. That's good. Yep, now that loops back to the beginning here. Also good. Now, the question I have is, can I start this at a specific time? So. It's under Q editor, I believe. This is something else cool. You can change the stage display outlet uh, layout. So I could have this layout for music and this for the pastor. Q palette. Okay. So this is a new feature. Um, live video, okay, timer, Oops. this would shows me what that does. Resets timer. I was really hoping that this would allow me to start something specifically on a certain time. And I'm not seeing how to do that. I'm not saying it's not possible. I just haven't figured it out if it is quite yet. So lots of cool stuff here. Um, I'm not going to dive more into it until I've gotten a chance to play with it. That editor button brings that up. I noticed it includes HTML there. I'm wondering uh, if there's anything scheduler. That looks new. Let's see what happens here. Select a playlist. Uh, that's okay. And in that, I can start a mighty fortress is our god in five minutes. Let's see if I can't make that faster. Because if I have, I think that this done something that will make at least one of the people that I'm dealing with very happy. So let's see if I did that correctly. If I did, then here sometime very soon it should go into a mighty fortress as our god. Let's see if it does. See what else I have. Yes, and it did. Totally did it. Yes. Okay. So that's at least one of the features that a lot of people are really asking for. So I'm going to dive back into this and we'll see um, how I can get it to work and if I can make it better. Well, not better, but if I can understand it so that I can help you understand it, and we'll go from there. Till next time, this is Paul at TrinityDigitalMedia.com.